Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. If for whatever reason you are still not seeing the Windows 10 feature update version 21H2 um, appear as an optional feature update in your Windows update on your Windows 10 device, then recently um, Microsoft has announced that Windows 10 version 21H2 is ready for a broader deployment, and that's over on their release health website at Microsoft Docs, um, which was posted on the 15th of April where they made that announcement here highlighted in the blue section. Now, basically up until now, only select devices that were compatible were updated automatically to the latest version of Windows 10. You could also go over to uh, the update assistant on their website and install it manually, but it was only rolled out um, automatically to your device as an optional feature update. Uh, if your your device was compatible. If your device was not compatible, they would put a compatibility hold on the update. Now, in case you did not know, Microsoft released Windows 10 version 21H2 in November of 2021. So it's not to be confused with the feature update for Windows 10 that's going to be rolling out possibly in October and November later on this year, version 22H2. So that's that would be the up and coming feature update. This is the current stable version of Windows 10, as many of you know, version 21H2, which rolled out in November of last year. And for a feature update, it's actually a very small update that um, only had a couple of new features, um, mainly to do with productivity and security that were added to the operating system. Now, as an example, if you are updating from version 21H1 to 21H2, like I did, um, the uh, update is very quick and very small in most cases and most of the changes for version 21H2 have already um, rolled out as monthly cumulative updates through Windows Update anyway up until this point. So it's a very small update and Microsoft uses a small enablement um, update and package to roll out version 21H2. So compared to major uh, feature updates, it's actually a very small quick and fast update as mentioned in most cases. Now if you are in an organization as well um, and haven't seen the update yet, um, Microsoft says that it's stable enough now also uh, for use in organizations. So that could be rolling out uh, to you through Windows Update in the near future if you are in an organization and haven't seen the update. Now some of these compatibility holds um, while you aren't seeing the update appear in Windows Update up until this point it could be things like you haven't had enough free disk space to install the update and you might have apps or applications that are installed on your device um, that could be preventing the installation of the feature update and uh, um, you know Microsoft could have detected there could have been problems um, with certain apps on your device and up until now that's why you could not have seen uh, that uh, feature update rollout as an optional update if you would like to install it and obviously, if your system does meet the uh, minimum system requirements of Windows 11, then you can also upgrade to Windows 11 if that is your choice. And just a quick reminder as well that version 20H2 of Windows uh, 10, um, which was the um, October 2020 feature update, is reaching its end of support and end of life on the 10th of May 2022. So basically, Microsoft says if you are on an older version of Windows 10 to update to a newer version like version 21H2 uh, as soon as you can to continue to receive the latest security updates against security threats. Now, um, for whatever reason, if you don't know what version of Windows 10 you are running, I always recommend just go to your search and type in WinVer, hit enter, and this will show you what version you are running. And yeah, you will see your version. And in my case, I'm running 21H2, which is the latest stable version. So if you see 20H2, 21H1, and you haven't seen uh, 21H2 rollout through Windows Update, Microsoft says that um, very soon um, you, you could see it as it's now, according to that um, uh, post over on Microsoft Docs, is now ready for broader deployment. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.